Okay, you should be spread out on the uh, jogging line. You should not be right next to somebody. We have plenty of space. Spread out. Spread out. Okay, please repeat after me. Go straight. Go straight. Please repeat after me. Go straight. Go straight. Go slow. Go slow. Two mistakes. Two mistakes. The test is over. Test is over. And last but not least, do your best. Forget the rest. Hey, what's up guys? That little clip was uh, from a modified pacer, which is what I do with kindergarten and first grade. And um, what you didn't see before the clip was I sit my kids down and I demonstrate uh, seven laps so that they can see the level increase when it goes to level two. And I just kind of explained to them, this is something you're gonna do in second grade, we're doing a practice version, and we're gonna see if anybody can make it to 25 points in kindergarten and then in first grade, I'll let them go to 30 points, maybe even 35 points at the end of the year. Um, so I'm just giving them a chance to be exposed to the test and to kind of understand how the test works, understand the level increases and the routines and just trying to go as long as they can. Um, if they make two mistakes, their test is over, they sit down and they do a silent cheer for the rest of the kids that are still going. Um, I don't have anybody counting or anything like that. It's all just self-assessed. Everybody's lined up on the line at the same time. We do like uh, sideline to sideline, which is probably somewhere under 15 meters. Uh, it's a really short pacer and we run the 20 meter pacer. So it's very easy for the kids. It's just a quick way for them to um, try it out. And it's a lot of fun. My kindergarten kids uh, are like cracking up laughing when the test starts because they are just having such a good time. So it's a kind of a easy way for you to explain and demonstrate and allow your younger students to try out the pacer test. And so then by the time they get a second and third and fourth and fifth grade, they actually know how to do it. And um, by the time they're in fifth grade, it's like automatic, no problem. Everybody knows exactly what to do. So give it a shot and hope that is helpful. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Have fun and teach on. Later.